history. You cannot teach American history without teaching about Paul and Mary. Well, he was a writer, a lawyer, a priest, a poet. Anna Pauline Murray, also known as Polly Murray, was the first black woman to earn a JSD from Yale Law School, is responsible for creating the Bible of Civil Rights Movement, is the co-founder of the National Organization for Women, and is the first black woman to be ordained an Episcopal priest. Now, Polly Murray, she was born in Baltimore, Maryland, to Agnes Fitzgerald Murray, a nurse, and William Henry Murray, a graduate of Howard University, and a high school teacher and principal. Polly Murray taught herself to read at age five and became devoted to books from then on. She also graduated from Hillside High School with a certificate of distinction in 1926 at the age of 15. After Polly Murray graduated from Howard University in 1944, she wanted to attend Harvard University to continue her law studies. In her application for the Julius Rosewood Fund Fellowship, she listed Harvard Law School as her first choice. Although she was awarded the prestigious fellowship, Harvard rejected her because of her gender. Now, Polly Murray would end up going to the University of California at Ball instead and completed her LLM in 1945. Her master thesis, The Right of Equal Opportunity in Employment, foreshadowing much of her work that followed. She passed the California State Bar in the same year. And here's a black history fact for you. Murray would coin the term Jane Crow in 1947 to signal that the impact of gender oppression differed from that of racial discrimination in name only. Jane Crow prevented black women's full participation in society, including struggles in the public spaces with lower wages and sexual harassment, the conflict in the private life with expectations for their roles as wives and mothers in defense of male authority. After graduating, Polly Murray worked briefly as the Deputy Attorney General of California before returning to New York. After struggling to find sustainable work as an attorney, she opened her own law practice to support the growing civil rights movement. In 1952, she lost a post at Cornell University because the people that supplied her references, such as Eleanor Roosevelt, Thurgood Marshall, and A. Philip Randolph, were considered too radical. And after all that, I didn't even tell you about the greatness of Polly Murray. But up, Polly Murray, and accomplish what you will, the order of the Garvey, and welcome to Higher Education TikTok.